Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the remote desktop environment. In this case, the remote desktop environment of Rackham, the UpMax HPC cluster. And this is part of the UpMax intro course day one. Um, this course is multiple sections. We are under with, in, with section basic use with visual tools. And we have discussed login, how to log in to the remote desktop. And now we're going to going to use that thing. Um, and these exercises are going to go through the theory. It's like if you've used a computer already, um, you probably have used a visual system like a remote, like a desktop, like I have. Hey, you can see there's stuff here and then some folders you can click on and programs. And Rackham is not different than that uh, if you use the remote desktop environment. I do first need to log in to Rackham. So um, after logging to the remote desktop, so that was the previous session. Um, and the answer is simply go to, to follow the documentation. And then it brings you to this website where you need to log in. Um, I do that again. Richel, my password is... Also, I need to use my two-factor authentication number. You can see it below this text box if you read carefully. He shot up max for me, 722083. You could use a thin link client locally. I just use the website. All right, so this is the remote desktop environment. Let's take a look what we do, what the exercise asks us to do. Start the program to navigate your files. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, that's here. I guess that's this thing, and maybe this one or this thing. Like the, I don't know, I can click this one, there's nothing. File, ma oh, that's a good one, maybe. Yeah. Hey, now I can see all my files. Good, I did it. Yeah, so you can also use that one. All right, so I, I've, I've used this one, this, this cupboard, but you can also use the folder. Let's, let's try out that folder, click it too. Ah, all right, open folder. Oh, it's the same program. Great, great. So I have now two file managers. You can start it with this, or if you want to have a specific folder, you start it there. Sure, sure. When you start that program, in which directory are you? So let's take a look. Ah, here. So this is the folder where I am now, domus slash h1 slash richel. Um, and if I click on the places, richel turns into slash home slash richel. Both answers are correct. From my point of view, slash home richel, slash home slash richel is the, my home folder. But if you're an upmax maintainer, then the word domus uh, means something to you. But that's not us, so I'm not going to explain it. So the answer is home slash richel. What is the name of the file explorer? All right, so that's useful because then we know, uh, then we can Google. I guess it's under help about, or Thunar it is called. Well done. In Thunar, create a file. Sure, sure. Um, right mouse button, create document, empty file. I call it my file.txt because it's a name, done. Copy a file, let's do it. Probably do, can I like click copy with right mouse button? No. Yeah, copy. There, and then paste. Yeah, done it. That's Control C, Control V, so I do Control C now, C Control C, Control V. Yeah, right, so that works. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and move a file, right? So that is moving into a different folder, sure. I put this copy in my best folder. Right, easy, easy peasy. Yep. Next one, delete a file, right? I guess that's right mouse button delete. There it is. I'm sure that you want to delete it, yes. I guess I can also press delete, let's try that out. Yeah, works. I also got a sound, I don't know if you can hear that. Create a folder, sure. Probably right mouse button, create folder. Oh, well, oh, 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 create folder. My folder. Bam, done it. 
copy a folder. Well, sure, let's do it. I'm going to put a file in it. Just because, yeah, we're going to copy it. Control C, Control V. There, that's my copy. Move a folder. Well, let's move it. I put it there in my best folder. Let's see if it is there. There it is. And delete a folder. Let's do it. Gonna delete this. Gonna also delete those files while I'm at it. I was gonna delete my my folder, my best folder. All this nonsense. Let's clean it up. Alright, so I've used with files. I've worked files. Well done. <coughs> Starting a terminal. Uh to that start a terminal. Well let's take a look. So this looks like a terminal to me. I'm gonna click it, see what happens. Yeah, that's a terminal. Alright, done it. I've started the terminal. I'm on a login node because I see the word Rackham 2 here. Rackham has four login nodes at the moment, so uh, start a terminal. From the terminal, start the program XIs by typing XIs and press enter. Let's do it. XIs, enter. Hey, done it. Good. Close the terminal. There are multiple ways. Well, I close it just by clicking here. Yeah, I'm close it. Done. Next thing. Start a text editor. Create a file called myfile.txt. Sure, let's do it. I'll make it. Right mouse button. Create document. Myfile.txt. And then what do we need to do? Edit a file by starting a visual text editor from Thuna. There are many ways for it. What about I just um, right mouse button and oh, first thing open with text editor. Done. This is a visual text editor. What do we need to do more? Edit a file. There are many ways. Well, I guess I guess I need to check if I can type here. Yeah, I can type here. What is the name of the graphical text editor? Well, that's probably hamburger menu. About it's called Get It Gnome Edit. Uh, Gnome is a something. Save the file. There are multiple ways. All right, sure. Save. Done. I did it. Close Get It. There are multiple ways. Well, I'm just gonna click here. Done. All right, and now the unexpectedly hardest thing is to copy paste the text. For that we need to go to the documentation about Rackham. And we need to find out I'll log into Rackham via remote via web browser. Let's go there in the Upmax documentation. Just gonna copy paste the thing. And I got it on the first hit. And we need to look for something how to use it. Alright? Apparently that's here. Thin link that's the program in the back. You can also run it locally. And we're gonna need to, yeah, so we found it. We found it. We've done the exercise. All right, so we've done that. Now we're gonna copy paste text from our local computer to your remote desktop. Well, first take a look at how it's documented. Thin link usage. Ah, how do I copy paste text with a thin link session? Uh, how do we copy paste thing within a thin link session? Windows, Mac, right click and choose or Windows paste. Alright, how do we copy paste between thin link and locally? So there's a clipboard at the left hand side. Well, I think we can do it. So my local computer, I'm going to start a program called Mousepad. And this is my local computer, you see that, um, that this is my computer. Um, I am going to copy paste this text from local to remote desktop. So I'm going to copy paste. I don't care about the spelling errors, right? I press Ctrl C, so it's in my clipboard. I can paste it on my local computer now. Now I go to the remote desktop. I go here. I click on the clipboard. This is the clipboard. Yep. And I paste it here. And now I can 
I'm on this now I'm in the remote desktop editor I can now press paste and there I have it well I've done it so there's a, this extra step in between and now I need to do the other way around let's do it so and this is on my remote desktop I'm going to paste the other way around and you already see if I select this it gets into the clipboard now I'm going to copy paste this clipboard so now I'm here I'm not here anymore I'm in the clipboard I press ctrl A ctrl C I go to my local computer editor and I'm gonna paste it I did it um, and I think that was the last exercise well so that concludes all these exercises I'm gonna close the remote desktop I'm gonna close this we have just used our remote desktop environment of the UpMax intro course day one. I wish you a very good day. Bye.